Good afternoon and welcome to Music Scrap. The Musical Scrapper, I'm going to do some more jelly printing. Right now I'm just getting the last bits of paint off my jelly plate from my last time. I've got some and so, some of what you're seeing is on the other side of the jelly plate as well. Also, may look like it's not getting it all off, but that's because it's on the other side. This is not the stickiest tape. It's pulling at some, but not the crusty, crusty bits. You know, you're in desperate measures when your crusty bits have crusty bits, which mine do. Ouch. Because I'm really not into cleaning my jelly plate at all, because I love the texture added when... Oh, I still have some tape up there that I didn't pull off yet. Let me get the extra. All right, I just want to make sure I get off the... You want to get off the really bad crusty bits because it will resist paint. So that's what I'm just trying to get off right now are the, you know, the really thick crusty bits that are going to cause issues with your printing. All right, the rest can come up in a pull-up print and work perfectly well. All right, so this is the coloring book. And I thought these will all be laser printed. See this, it's just a design, right? So these will all be laser printed. So I think that they will work really well on a resist pull. So I'm going to do a test. I'm going to get a couple of ones that are lines. Like there's another one that's similar. Here's another one that's similar. So let's do this was a book that I got at uh, Dollarama and I actually bought it to do um, transfers using gel medium so I thought hmm I bet this will work so what I'm going to do is because I've got different ones I'm just going to cut some strips And this one I'm going to fold up so it gives me something to pull it up off afterwards. Hi, Minik. down right off the page so that because what I'm going to do is mix these up together on the same resist so actually what I'm going to do first is trim off this extra so I don't have to trim it off on each one Conserving time. All right. 
and this one. So I've got, I've got, um, when I scrapbook, I'm making these pa pages for scrapbooking purposes. When I scrapbook, I like to do uh, two page layouts, two 12 by 12 page layouts. So I'm will have enough, hopefully, of these to do a dual page layout. That is the plan, anyway. Uh, Kathy, they are from this coloring book that I got ooh, about a year and a half ago at Dollarama. It was three bucks at Dollarama. So it's called Color Therapy. The anti-stress coloring book and the company is hmm let me see if I can find a company name sorry just go to I have to get my uh, mag light app out here so I can see um, Made in India. There's like but it's in it's in English, French, and Spanish. So you must be able to get it in the States. I'll give you the SKU number. Um six seven eight 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 two six eight eight nine. Six seven eight 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 two six eight eight nine. That's the SKU number. <clears throat> All right. So I'm gonna take two of these. I should be able to get them down in time, Darren. Sorry to answer your question. One of these and two of these for each, and then the other ones will go on the second page. So, here we go. I have them all. I, that's the trick, though. Got to have them all ready to go down. Okay. Alright, so, the trick is small amount of paint all right so I'm going to start with they say that the a dark color to start with is good so I'm going to do this one with purple and yellow so I'm going to start with the purple and I guess I better get my two pages ready here a little closer to me. Alright. Oh, and I think I fixed my brayer, or I hope I did. It was rolling for me earlier, so... All right, so you saw how, see how nice and thin that paint was. So now, I'm going to take a piece of, oh, I guess I can't really because I don't want to pull up the, 
Yes, I do. I do want to pull up the other purple, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so I use a piece of deli paper. And actually, move it over a little bit here. should have done was used uh well, that's okay this is my first test piece Outside my pattern because oh for goodness oh darn it ah, one moment please I was trying to grab my baby wipes and they fell off the pile one moment please there we go I should have used my texture plates. On the other parts that's okay i'll do that on the other page lesson learned i want to take off this extra purple paint because all i want on the page is the design left behind so i hope it got on in time before the paint dried. Fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll have to use full sheets, but that's okay. That's what experimenting is, figuring out what works and what doesn't. All right, so let's take this off. I don't think I got it pressed enough, but we'll see. All right, since this is going to be a test piece, I'm going to do it on a piece of eight and a half by 11 and see if it worked because I don't think it did. Because I think, like Darren said, I think my paint dried too fast. But let's see what happens. Let's see what pulls up. <clears throat> One moment, I need to take off my hoodie. <clears throat> a little bit warm. Warmer today than yesterday. Okay, hold on. So, once again, since this is a pull, it's going to be a small amount of white paint. I want a thin coat. Let's see. I've got lots of ideas since yesterday, so we'll see what works and what doesn't of my ideas. then I'll just use a full page full pages next time that's all Darren I'll do another test on an eight and a half by 11 until I get it right so I don't waste my 12 by 12 paper And a 
could be the ink that's an issue too. Sorry, I'm just looking at it up close to see what. Now it did not. It did not pick up any of the black ink pattern. So I'm going to try another one with a full page and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try an eight and a half by eleven. Let's see. Okay, let's do this lobster. He has a few more, um, a little more black on him. So let's try this. Let's see what happens. Sorry, get rid of my get my tape out of my way. All right, there's a tiny bit more paint this time, but not a whole lot, but just a little bit more. So it may be a little more wet. Jillian Ish. Ugh. Yes, I know what you mean. I've sold two. I've sold a condo and a house, but thank goodness. Ooh. Buying is worse than selling, though, in my, from my perspective, it was. But. Kathy, you're Cass Kathy, I assume, right? Or are you Kathy Berg? I think you're Cass Kathy, but I'm not positive. Make sure I'm pressing hard enough on this paper. All right, let's see what shows up and what doesn't. I should know. If it, oh, I know when they pulled it, when Jelly Arts pulled theirs up, and when I did it before, you could actually see the image when you pulled it up. So, if I don't see the image, then I know. No. Okay. So, this, these prints won't work, don't work then. So, maybe they're not laser printed. Like Jelly Arts says, it's um, hit and miss to find out what's going to work and what isn't. There is no... There is no nothing left there except the edge of the except the edge of the paper. Okay, so that book doesn't work. Whatever ink they use in this book, it won't work for this type of resist. So that idea is a no. So let's go back to something else. Let's. Uh, Your Kathy B. Okay. Sorry, wasn't sure. Well, at least I'm the guinea pig. Of course, that doesn't mean uh, some other um, coloring book wouldn't work. Just the particular ink in that one must not be a heat set ink printer printing. So that's that's what laser printing is. It's a heat heat set ink type print okay all right let's try brought out my bin of 
magazine images that I have cut out of images, cut out of magazines. Ooh, I'm going to use this. But I also want some that are just like, ooh, there's a plant one. Oh, this one would be good for Janet. go with that nature let's see oh that's cool for texture hmm I think I'm gonna cut that in half so you could remember now I'm trying to do um Oh, I'm going to use that for sure because I have an idea for that one. Okay, let's try these, see what happens. All right. I'm just taking the words off here. And I want to tear the edge here so that it's not a straight line. taking her off in front of the clock because I just want the clock. I might do her in a separate page, but for this page, I just want the clock. And actually, I want to put a piece of paper. Turn this around. Hello. I've got some different colored cardstock to work on today, too. I want to put a piece of 12 by 12 under here so that I have my guide for where to put down one moment this is 12 by 14 so I have an extra two inches in the width so I just want to okay and it'll still hopefully it'll stick enough on the sides here that well it's not even like a straight
Okay. Hi, Lori. Okay. So, here we go. So do I want to do this one in purple and yellow or I'm trying to think of my pictures that I want to use on this for this page. Uh oh, where did the other one go? Did anybody see? Oh, there it is. Never mind. All right. So um, I think I want... All right, this is going to be light blue and dark blue for the pictures that I want to use this for. So I'm going to put my purple back away. Light blue and dark blue. All right. So I'm going to use this and... This for the pull up. Actually, I'm going to use this for the pull up. Oh, I'll see which looks, which matches better. Mm, actually. I'm going to use these two colors. Instead of blue, I'm going to go to green because they're for Till. It's going to be a pull photos of Till. Tillman and his favorite color is green, just like his Aunt Jean. He's so smart. So that's going to go here on this. No, it's not. It's going to go here. So that'll be on the left. Okay. So it's going to go here. All right. And I want to get one of my design. Either that one or No, okay, that one, I'm going back to that one. All right. <clears throat> These are Cedar Canyon texture plates, originally for um, clay and stuff. They were great on the jelly plate as well. So, trick is not too much easy on the paint and I may have put a little too much on but we'll see it's not too bad I don't think Well, once again, my brayer is not rolling. <clears throat> it was. So I'm back to my small squeaky one, but anyway. All right. So this goes over here. Oh, 
It moved on me, dang it. Oh well. Need to take off a little more paint. I'm just gonna go back over top again. <clears throat> and if I'm not right on top of the other one, it doesn't matter. It's for texture. All right, a piece of paper. Oh, and do the pull quick before the paint dries. <sighs> All right, so I don't know. All right. Yeah, I can see some of it. All right, so this has to dry. So let me get my, oh, <clears throat> I need to find my hair dryer. Oh, it fell off my, uh, okay. Hair dryer, and it's way louder than my heat gun if you weren't here yesterday, so I apologize. If you have your buds in, you'll want to take them out right now before I start. this up without drying it. You have to make sure that this layer is completely dry before you put down your pull-up paint. And I'm going to use this lighter teal color. Now I'll tell you the color that I used for this first layer. So the color I used for the first layer is Thalo Green. And it's Artist Loft. This is also Artist Loft. And it's Aqua Green. Once again, not too much paint. Ew. Ew. Real huge, 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 icky. And it's kind of thick because it didn't quite get closed because there's so much gathered under the cap. Uh, oh, darn it. Okay, let's see if this is enough. So once again, thin layers for your pull, but not quite that thin. Need a little bit more up top here. Oh, and that's probably too much. Dang it.
All right, here we go. All right. Well, I can't see the clock, but I got some great texture. Must have used too much paint because I could see it. I had too much blue on, so let's see what happens here. I'm going to put a little bit more of my light on and do it thinner. I did have too much in the end. So, I'm just going to try another pull and see what happens. Alright, this can be my second page. Not quite enough. Sorry about the squeaky prayer, but yeah. One of these days, I may have to hop in Darren's trunk and go to North Carolina with her. <laughs> <coughs> I've never been there. Been only as far south as Pennsylvania. Hershey. Well, I guess no. Uh, well been to Baltimore, Maryland, which is, I guess, on the same amount of southness as Pennsylvania. It was in Bloomsburg and Hershey, Pennsylvania, were the two places we visited. Camped in Bloomsburg in the state fairgrounds for eight days with our National Campers and Hikers Association. Okay. Alright, cool papers anyway, even if even if the transfer didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And it didn't. I don't see the clock at all. But I've got two cool pages. Which is what I want. These are for scrapbooking. So I don't really care that the resist didn't work out. I'll keep working on it. 
I probably left it on the page too long. Again, <sighs> trying to get the other part done. Let's dry this hair dryer again, folks. Sorry about that. So this will be these will be side by side as a dual, but now most of them will be covered with photos. And I don't mind about the white edge because I often put a border on them anyway. So that can or I can always paint them later if I need more um, ouch, paint on them. Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to do a clean up here because I want to switch to my Dyna red, blue, and blue violet, or violet, yeah, blue violet, I guess it is, I think it is. So I'm going to do a clean up and I think I'll just use white because then the true greens will show up through that. So I think I'll use white for my clean up. Oh gosh. One moment, please. Thank goodness for a large. That's too much for a pull up print. I really need to squeeze some of this into a smaller bottle, but I just haven't had a chance yet. Okay. I'm going to leave this down at the bottom there and I will clean that up with um, tape. So you need to rub a little bit longer with your cleanup prints because you have to give 
that white paint in my case time to kind of start drying to the paper so that it tr pulls up everything that's underneath it. Hey Eileen! Ooh, no Eileen! Storm season starting already? Goodness! We actually had, um, what do they call it, thunder snow or whatever for the first time in years this way on one of our, the last, not the storm yesterday or Sunday, but the last storm we had a couple weeks ago, there was a thunder. So what you want to do is test by start pulling it up and see if it's coming up fairly clean. And places where it doesn't all come up are places where you had too much paint. So I'll just see if I can pick that up. I may have to do it with tape. That's okay. If it's still a little wet, it will come up. So this will be nice to make some flowers or embellishments for that paper because there's still the greens but there's also like whites with it so it's really nice to make embellishments with your prints won't be flowers because it's till but whatever I decide to make although he likes flowers he drew a flower on the uh, bouquet two hearts and a flower on the bouquet for his Nana after he signed the, the card. Oh, one moment, please. I need a drink. <laughs> Canada geese. They're not Canadian geese, Darren. They're Canada geese. Oh, silly. I like to correct that because, you know. Okay. See that? Very cool. So I need to dry what's on here so I can pick it up with tape. Sorry, hair dryer noise again. tape I will keep to use on his page. Oh no. Uh, I lost the end. Oh there. Oh gosh, 
Egyptian geese. Well, yeah, probably the cat. The poor Canada geese are probably already back home and all confused by all the snow that came down this last week. Some of them stay anyway. They're fairly hardy. They don't all fly south. And messy. Man, not just loud. They're messy. Lakes in the Dartmouth area have to be closed every summer at certain times because of the mess they make of the water. Toxins, there's so many of them. Eesh. <clears throat> On their way, are they, Kathy? Eesh. Figured. Oh, I hate this. I didn't turn it over when I did my la the last one. Oh, I think I got it. Did I get the whole width? I think so. Ooh. Okay, let's get it back on the thing because it's easier to cut using this thing. I just have to remember to flip it over on the end so it doesn't do that. Uh-oh, I had it and now it ripped again. Arr. Mm. All right. Wouldn't have had to use my hair dryer if I'd realized this didn't get uh, turned back because it would have had time to dry on its own. Now it's got fingerprints all over it. Oh well. Oh. Good thing I don't go for walks, Darren. <laughs> See, and what I like about this is then you get it and you don't get the shiny side. I, I just put double-sided tape or, or, or use, um, whatchamacallit, um, matte medium to uh, put it down onto that. Because, like, you don't want this side, right? Because that's just white. You want this side to show. So... Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can 
want to get as much onto this as I can so I can use it on the page. And I think I need another piece of tape. So what I'm going to do is, there's a, the end of this is, is uh, still sticky. So I'm just going to tape it there with that page. Sticker paper. I don't have any... No, I have it, Eileen. I have not used sticker paper, but that is a good idea. Wonder where my sticker paper is. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think it's right over there. I do think I know where it is, but that means getting up out of my chair and hopefully reaching it through all the stuff pile on the floor which I really have to start working on I've got to get my cleaner over here to help me go through my craft room here because she can do the running back and forth and the piling and I can tell her yes no or what pile to put it in Okay, when I finish this, I'm going to go on, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to start another recording. I'm going to start doing shorter recordings, because if I do shorter recordings, well, I can't do shorter recordings for my watercolor, but in this case, I can do sh shorter recordings just to see if the views, not that I care much, really, but I just think people might come and watch more if they have kind of some shorter videos to watch. So, I am going to stop the recording. Thank you if you're watching the recording. Um, I will be back. I'm not going to stop broadcasting. Thanks a lot.